Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some like really kind of big and somewhat kind of breaking news, at least in regards of today, where we are now seeing a huge, huge, huge pause when it comes to Microsoft and their Activision acquisition. And this actually kind of seems like this is really, really bad. Now, we've kind of been seeing like a lot of drama back and forth, issues, PlayStation, Call of Duty. And as you guys may have seen, we uh, actually made a video on it right before this one. There was even a huge Call of Duty event that happened today with all the brand new news for Warzone for the brand new game, Call of Duty Mobile, and all the big changes, maps, and kind of the initial first, like, blunt showcase of everything involved in the system. And with all this hype going around, we also had some legality stuff, and big regulators now kind of chime on in on what they're allowing and what they're not allowing over here. So, a lot of stuff to talk about, and in all honesty, kind of maybe bad news too as well. Depends on your perspective. <laughs> if you guys are more of a PlayStation fan, maybe good news. If you guys are more Xbox fans or Game Pass fans, maybe bad news. Overall, it's interesting news. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Give your thoughts as we go throughout the video itself. Leave a like and, of course, subscribe for the PS5 giveaway. Twitter and Twitch streams down below. And same with those Amazon and Target links, too, as well. So as we've mentioned... When it comes to this stuff, as you guys know, Microsoft put in that huge, like, multiple billion dollar bid for Activision, Call of Duty, Overwatch, War of the Warcraft, mobile games, and a lot of other various IPs. But a lot of issues have been drilling on it to maybe becoming a monopoly, and I've mentioned this before in prior videos, a lot of lawmakers are more so not really that concerned, say, with Sony and Nintendo and, say, Steam, Epic Games, whatever, that is a big thing to note. But I think a lot of regulars have also keep on pushing for the fact that smaller companies pretty much have no barrier of entry, or they have a massive barrier of entry, and they just literally could not go and afford to compete with Xbox already, but now factoring like one some of the biggest games on the planet, both on PC side, both on like normal side, all available potentially for Game Pass, and I think a lot of regulars are focusing more on that, but as well, obviously, the PlayStation Monopoly concerns and all that are also factored on in. So with this, we now have some new information all throughout today where... Regulators put the brakes on Microsoft Activision acquisition. Microsoft faces prolonged competition investigation into a $75 billion acquisition over here too. So Microsoft, $75 billion, which I always thought it was more of like $69 billion, but uh, acquisition of video game maker Activision Blizzard faces an in-depth probes in Brussels. And in the UK, following growing concerns, the deal is anti-competitive and will also be excluding rivals from assessing the blockbuster game Call of Duty. And as you guys know, Call of Duty has been the news a lot, as we mentioned before. And actually, I'm, I'm a little bit excited for it. I'll probably be going and playing up the beta on my Twitch stream if you guys want to follow up on Twitch. Or as well, maybe make a few videos on it on the channel, maybe some comfy commentaries like how it was back in the day. So it comes as the UK's Competition and Markets Authority is expected to launch an in-depth investigation this week after Microsoft decided not to offer any remedies at this stage, according to two individuals with knowledge of the situation. So basically, it just kind of seems that the UK is once again going in and trying their best to get as much stuff done as they possibly can. They are concerned. They want to look through the logistics. They want to look at the market. And I'm sure a lot more other things that we'll never even know about. But they do also want to make sure it's not a monopoly. They want to make sure they're not taking over the gaming industry because they have Microsoft money. So it's always a big concern. So earlier this month, the CMA became the first global antitrust regulator to sound the alarm over the transaction, giving Microsoft five days to come up with the undertakings that would resolve its worries or face an extended phase two probe. The companies have already been in talks with regulators in Brussels since the deal was announced eight months ago in what was known as the pre-notification stage, an indication of how scrumptious officials will be during the probe. Regulators and others involved in the deal expect a prolonged EU investigation once Microsoft officially files its case in Brussels in the coming week. So what that means is that we're going to probably get a lot more information. Uh, when it comes to courts, most of the time the information is public. Obviously, maybe with regulators it might be slightly maybe under more scrutiny, so it might be more polarized to release that information or maybe more exposed to proper business deals. It kind of depends. Typically, you want to have everything public, though, so everyone, number first and foremost, like lawyers, can see it, but as well, also so other folks can also get, chime in their opinions as well. It really depends on how they're going to structure the court, what's going to happen with that, et cetera, et cetera. But this also is even more intriguing because this is essentially halting the deal. Uh, it's not fully stopping it. Like, I don't want it to be like, be like, oh, my God, it's gone. But I would say this is probably 
better news than good. Now, a lot of Xbox has gone on record stating that they think this should be no big deal. They hope it's not going to be a big deal. Like, everything seems good for Microsoft's end. But don't forget, they're the company that wants to buy these games in the first place. So obviously they want to be like, yeah, it's going good. They want to make sure their stock price is going fine. People still have faith in Xbox, like normal marketing. Uh, and especially when they say, all well, the lawyers I spoke to think it goes good. It's not necessarily Xbox themselves. It's someone else. You know what I mean? So basically the companies have been already been involved with this too as well with regulars in Brussels, as we mentioned too, since the deal was announced eight months ago. And this is why it's been known as the pre-notification stage, an indication of how scrupulous officials will be during the probe. So this is like the pre, like, hey, we want to do this. Is this going to be possible? Do you guys like the idea? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Regulators and others involved in the deal expect a prolonged EU investigation, as we mentioned, once they go and officially file. People familiar with the EU's thinking say regulators will take their time to examine this deal because of its size and the nature of the buyer and the rising concerns from rivals, including Sony. As you guys also know, Sony has been kind of being like, bro, this could be really bad. Or, bro, this is like a lot of money that we even we can't afford. And while it's definitely in Sony's best interest to not allow this to go through, it's also, like I said, a lot of focus on the smaller companies, too, as well, that will never be able to go compete. Or if they do, it's like one in a million if they're that lucky. A good example is maybe look at Splitgate. That just did very well and had the market for it, but just didn't go and have the prolonged exposure or the normal market. It's a big deal and a difficult deal, said a person in Brussels familiar with the transaction. It needs an extensive investigation. It comes after Sony last week accused Microsoft of misleading the games industry and regulators about its commitment to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation consoles. It said Microsoft had only offered to keep releasing Activision hit games on PlayStation for a limited number of years. I do believe it was only three. Now, I do kind of understand where Sony's coming from, too, but they've also been very, very adamantly and very vocal about this. But at the same time, if your company could be losing billions of dollars, in Sony's position, I would, too. Although, it, it does kind of seem like they're complaining a lot when they don't really have, like, I think the favorable community vibe, I would say, with a lot of, like, wrongdoings from Sony. The move by the UK lays out the issues that Microsoft will have to overcome to pull off its biggest ever deal. The U.S. tech giant is hoping to close the deal by the end of June next year, but must first clear the regulatory hurdles in countries from New Zealand to America and also, obviously, the U.K. Microsoft opted to not offer any remedies to the CMA at this stage, because there is no obvious commitments to U.K. regulators would like to accept according to people with, uh, with knowledge of the situation. The watchdog does not generally accept behavioral remedies, such as commitments to maintain access to a product or service at the end of a phase one probe, apart from in rare circumstances. One competition competitive lawyer with knowledge of the case said it was almost impossible for Microsoft to offer a remedy that would prevent the investigation moving to an in-depth antitrust probe. So a lot of these folks, like these really well-paid lawyers that have practiced this law, are basically being like, oh my god, there is not a lot of options that can actually make this go through as like a speedy process. Now, once again, this does not mean that this deal is done or is not going to go through. It just essentially means that this is now the huge halt and a lot of legal people are going to be like, we have to look into pretty much every nook and cranny to make sure this will actually go through. The Activision deal comes at a time when regulators around the world are concerned they have not been as inventionalized, inventionist as they should have been in regards to the previous big tech deals, which is kind of bad for Microsoft, although Microsoft has had other deals already go through, and that's why a lot of folks, I think, are like, well... We gave you a lot of freebies, and we gave like a lot of other big companies freebies. Maybe now with the market going down, uh, maybe we should be a little bit more careful on what's going on to make sure we're not accidentally making it. monopolies or other companies go to business, look at revenues, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So gaming rivals say they fear that Microsoft will offer commitments it could easily wriggle out of, and they are not long-lasting. So like a two- to three-year Call of Duty commitment is not that good, especially if you have everything else on Game Pass. So I would, I understand Sony and the others want the commission to force Microsoft to offer guarantees that they will be able to access all games on equal terms and in pep to, uh, pep to, pep to, pep to, <laughs> forever. <laughs> Microsoft has said it will continue to make Call of Duty available on other companies' gaming consoles, such as PlayStation, rather than turning into an exclusive title on Microsoft's Xbox. Brad Smith's Microsoft's president and vice chair had previously said, we want people to have more access to games than less. 
The company could choose to enter a formal commitment to the CMA to guarantee its rivals access to games during the second phase of the investigation when an independent panel will analyze the deal in depth and consider potential solutions to antitrust issues. So like I said, it does kind of seem like Xbox is on hold and a big legal hold. PlayStation might actually get some good benefits off of this. We'll have to go and see. And I'm sure we'll have a lot more stuff coming out throughout the next few weeks with this deal because it is now into like the big hardcore stages where it is starting to get a little bit more rough. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed and the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Twitter and Twitch stream down below. We will target all that good stuff down below. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place.